Harry and Meghan have been invited to the King's coronation. According to a royal spokesperson, the couple are said to have received an email from His Majesty's office with the invitation on Saturday night. The couple are yet to comment on the invitation, though. The revelation follows a paid online live stream interview between Harry and a trauma expert. This took place on the weekend where Harry opened up further about his personal life. I think this whole session felt like we were sitting in on one of Prince Harry, Harry's therapy sessions. It was billed as an intimate conversation. And that's exactly what we got over an hour of Harry talking about his personal trauma and how he has worked through and is still working through the healing process for that. This was not a conversation that threw hand grenades at the royal family in the same way we've seen with previous interviews Harry has given. There was no mention, in fact, of Prince William at all, nor of Camilla. He didn't talk about the coronation and whether or not he'll come and how he feels about the likelihood of him being evicted from his UK-based Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. This was Harry talking personally, discussing how he has coped with the trauma of loss and this sense of healing, how he has undergone therapy, how he's used nature, meditation, psychedelic drugs, but most of all his relationships, his family, and perhaps most significantly Megan as this huge help in that healing process. It was interesting hearing um, Gabo Mate, the therapist he was talking to, discussing how he diagnosed Harry with attention deficit disorder, how he was very struck by how Harry wasn't held as a child and how he regarded this theme of deprivation Harry had written about in his memoir, Spare. Look, Whenever Harry speaks, people will listen. People who love Harry will have enjoyed every single minute of this conversation. I think it's unlikely to change the minds of his critics, but they probably won't have spent the £17.99 on a ticket listening to him.